you all. Thank you, Gitika, for coming and uh, doing this session for us. I know we are completely out of time. Uh, I'll try to keep it short and quick. Uh, you know, my first question is about your leadership. You know, as a leader, what steps are you taking to win the digital transformation race? Okay, firstly, uh, good evening and uh, thanks for the patience uh, to stay on. I'm, I'm conscious that it's been a very, very long day. And uh, I loved your session. Thank you so much. Um, and I think I would kind of build on that. Frankly, I'm not looking at it as a race or that I need to win as Hershey's. I think if we all have to move together. That's really where the consumers are moving. And therefore, it is important for us and uh, Hershey's leadership teams to really say, how do we harness the potential that digital uh, really brings along? And that's how I look at it. Um, for that, therefore, I think we do uh, several things. Uh, the first one is just basic digital upskilling that is needed for everybody. And if you honestly ask me, maybe I'm the least uh, digitally aware person in Hershey because everybody else, you know, the younger people are almost born into this uh, era. So they understand it more. So we have this little bit of reverse mentoring going. We have very focused ways through which we really answer to, um, uh, you know, what is needed for us to understand this channel better. So there is this uh, Thurka Street uh, courses that we have made people do, you know, of course, free of cost. We have a lot of LinkedIn subscriptions. Basically, the first step, if I were to maybe give uh, uh, an idea of what needs to be done, the first step, uh, you know, leadership must do is get digital upskilling done for their teams. I think the next thing is really earmark some amount of resources. And it's not just money, it's the time. You know, are we bringing it to the leadership table often enough? Because that is a signal of how critical or not a project is. So, you know, sometimes if you don't review it often enough, it's not considered important. So, therefore, have, are you putting the right resources, time, effort, energy, money behind that is another way we would like to be part of this digital transformation. And how is this journey different from an FMCG, for an FMCG brand? Yeah. So, FMCG comes with its own challenges and we were discussing IBM earlier. I think FMCG has the challenge of also the freshness that comes through. Yeah? And therefore, how do we harness uh, technology in supply chain so that we can get the freshest raw material, we can ensure our shelf life in the marketplace is not very dated. And uh, therefore, I think those are important things that an FMCG needs to do, specifically a food FMCG, I would say. Uh, the other thing is genuinely the consumers have migrated. You know, even if I want to, I cannot uh, kind of live in the hole, you know, as an ostrich. I have to be where my consumers are. And consumers are what we call cord cutters, you know, so the cable TV cord. They have cut that cord and they have moved to, uh, you know, different kind of digital, they've moved to different media players and therefore we need to be where our consumers are. And therefore as, as FMCG, uh, because we need to remain top of mind and relevant to our consumers, it's not as if, you know, they will buy, you know, maybe a laptop once in a few years. They need to, every time they buy chocolates, you know, and they, we of course have many competitors who've been there for millions uh, of years. Every time they buy chocolate, they must think, oh, Hershey's, oh, kisses, you know, say it with a kiss or something. And therefore, how do I maintain that top of mind recall uh, for my consumers is uh, another very important thing in an FMCG. You can't afford to slacken off because then you will no longer be relevant. How do you benchmark your progress in digital transformation? Um, so I think we, we are measuring it in two, three ways. The first one for us is actually uh, manpower and how we uh, better utilize. I, I'm using my words carefully. It is not sometimes digital is, and this entire journey is seen as cost cutting because we will get rid of people. Hershey, we don't do that. Yeah, We repurpose them into doing something different. So for example, you know, uh, at one point in time, somebody was writing down the sales or taking out, you know, an extract of your daily sales report by region. That is now Power BI. We don't need somebody to do that. But that person is now doing something else around inside ring. And therefore, what is the next level? How can we use our busy coolers better, for example? So I think uh, the way we measure digital transformation progress for us is how does it help in either simplifying the lives of my teams or ensuring we are able to 
reduce the grind of you know this everyday repetitive work and free up time to be able to do more insightful more thinking more value added work uh, so yeah so fte repurposing is a big call out i think we also of course look at cost savings that come as a result of uh, doing something well so for example um, e claims you know our, our distributors and we have more than 500 distributors spread across the country their claims when they are stuck then we have to give them a certain percentage i now uh, you know kind of pay them claims in a day so their you know kind of roi on my business goes up or continuous replenishment you know i sell them only as much as they are able to sell out not a case more not a case less so very little uh, kind of working capital is stuck so there is savings but savings is in the simplification of it not in manpower reduction as it sometimes unfortunately seen as so yeah that's how i would call measure of success so your brand recently uh, forayed into the metaverse right <laughs> yes. so uh, how do you think the fmcg industry can benefit from it yeah so i think um, the important thing here is experimentation and again if there's one thing that you carry back from this is saying continue experimenting do i know if metaverse is a success and we by the way called it hersheyverse uh, whether hersheyverse will be uh, it's an experiment we've come out richer we've done it for the christmas time last year we intend to do it again at uh, similar times you know we've got so much uh, insights about our consumers what are they engaging with on that platform it gives us an opportunity to really advertise from, on that platform you know so um, it's just i mean my brand is then accessible to frankly everybody across the globe were they wanting to see it so i i do believe it has yielded tremendous tremendous advantages uh, am i calling it a full what is success here if the experimentation is how i would define success we are very successful we've had a lot of people come in during the time that we had the metaverse going on and therefore i would say uh, continue the experimentation is how i would define um, it uh, as my experiments with metaverse <laughs> you know uh, apart from the fact that you're very capable and you completely deserve to be the md of hershey's your brand also your personality resonates with your brand you know versus some middle aged uncle <laughs> saying i try my chocolates <laughs> and you know you you this there's something very sweet about your personality yeah, so we we so. call hershey the sweetest place uh, on earth but to be honest i have done two decades of uh, you know work with unilever i have done uh toilet cleaners and home cleaners and detergents so frankly but this is this is where <laughs> i i felt most, at absolutely at home doing that as well <laughs> so uh, i have time for one last question uh, what are some of the unique challenges and opportunities you have encountered in leading hershey's operations in india's dynamic and diverse market yeah um i think firstly the the unique challenge of hershey's and of course all of us know it as a chocolate company is in india we didn't launch chocolates till 2020 yeah guys 2020 you know and we launched chocolates and then it shut down and covid happened so um we however i am delighted to say that today hershey is the biggest part of our turnover comes from chocolates and that's not that the others are declining everything is growing but chocolates is growing at such an exponential rate that today chocolates is the biggest part of the hershey portfolio in india but that was a unique challenge for us in india uh it is now the number 3 market player in the premium chocolate so you know silk and ferrero and the nas so yeah i think it's a good space to be in the other unique challenge for india has been the fact that it's a tropical country it needs uh, you know cooling solution still the retail point yeah and uh, uh we of course have we want chocolates to melt in the mouth just not before they reach the mouth of the consumer and therefore how do we uh, ensure we've put in these little mini fridges they're called visi coolers are uh, at almost 100000 retail stores and then how do we use technology in order to harness the data so i can on real time i want to eventually move to saying this particular sku got sold at this time i haven't reached there just yet but i think the unique challenge therefore in india which hershey no uh, globally never uh, had to face was how do we ensure the purity of the visi cooler that it's there you know it's an asset that is the company's asset doesn't get lost how do we use technology to say whether this is kind of delivering the roi in that particular place or is it better um, kind of read uh, put somewhere else so unique challenges but um, nothing that uh, we believe 
is is difficult and i think the way we've looked at it is always saying that it's a challenge and therefore just spurs us on to more action i have 20 19 seconds any any uh, big launches planned I, during festive I, season uh yes every year so uh, diwali rakhi valentine day frankly even halloween now yeah. is becoming a an, an occasion in the metro city so uh, we do have campaigns we do have a separate gift you know kind of uh, gifting team that puts in different kinds of gifting options so you should be seeing that in a store near you and if you're not feel free to call me and i will ensure it's seen at a store near you uh but i know the time is up however i'm happy to take some audience questions yeah. just to make it worth your while for staying thus this long so just in case you any have any questions, questions from audiences we have one here Hello, thank you so much, Catherine Henry from uh, Media Monks. My question for you is: digital collectibles, digital assets. Given the rich history and the variety of different products that you have, and they're so popular in game spaces like Roblox, is that something you're considering? So you, uh, sorry, just to uh, understand your question better, you're saying all the digital assets because they're popular in gaming. Are we harnessing that? Yes, you're obviously. You've got the Hershey space. But are you thinking about rolling out a separate line of digital assets or digital collectibles? Yeah, uh, in the U.S., frankly, that is happening, uh, and of course, Hershey in the U.S. is the dominant uh, chocolate brand, so it's a little bit more well known. Um, and therefore, we are doing a lot of these tie-ups. We're doing uh, several things, which some of these are, maybe I can't talk about just yet, but you will see them in the coming months. Uh, in India, like I said, we are still at the tip of the iceberg. and uh, we have so much more to go so what we are doing is using digital assets but our own space right in fact um, we have won almost some 20 awards this year around our digital campaigns right so different different things that we are experimenting and doing um, however if you were to integrate in roblox not yet and that is not at all uh, in the plans for 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 the now but let's see i'm hoping that we will once one day be a dominant player in the indian market and then do that thank you Anyone else? We can take one more question. Yes, yes. There's there's one a question right there. I'll raise there. That's normally the the you know sleepy corner. It's just at the <laughs> end. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm not going to take everyone's time. Uh, firstly, I really enjoyed the fireside chat up till now, despite it being the dead end of the day. <laughs> Uh, I just had one query, one question. Um, you spoke about experimentation and success. Um, how would you take experimentation? Let's know, like, like say, experimentation for a company that does not have the budget to really experiment and you know spend that much time. Now, Hershey, being such a big multi-millionaire company. they have that budget to experiment but what about a company that doesn't have that financial resource good question thank you for it and frankly a few years ago had you asked me when i was steeped in you know the old school of marketing of saying that you are you know we are going to be tv only big boss grps every launch cost me x crores i would have maybe given a different answer frankly if you look around you now there are so many companies especially these you know startups that have built credible large businesses with very little money because of digital you know so think wow shampoos think you know a lot of these uh, beauty brands a lot of food brands uh, that have actually been able to do it because of digital why because firstly ecom as a platform and whether it's quick commerce or you know regular amazon flipkart is a very fair channel you could be 75% share you would still get one tile as the consumer is swiping mm -hmm. you could be 0.7% share you would still get a tile right so it's a very fair channel and if you believe that your uh, you know your brand has the wherewithal or the right offering and value to the consumers uh, now it actually enables us to be able to do it so effectively similarly digital marketing is a lot um, how do i say can be cheaper than the old school grp driven you know put it on saas bhi kabhi bahuthi kind of serials which were very expensive to run mm -hmm. you can now be more nimble and therefore the experimentation frankly gets there so i would say frankly the smaller companies which have lesser money 
must experiment even more mm -hmm. to seeing what is the right way where they can kind of get their consumers mm -hmm. and uh, move into large businesses. Frankly, I mean, I'm amazed at the amount that is happening these days. Mm -hmm. And it's also a little scary, especially in the US. Um, you know, we're seeing these prime, uh, you know, I don't know if, if any of you have heard about prime, this drink. I'd gone to the US. My mm -hmm. kid said, you can't enter home till you get prime. You know, Mr. Beast chocolates. I mean, they, they're just crazy amount of experimentation that is leading to people building credible large businesses. Sure, like, sheer uh, effort is through digital and mm -hmm. nothing else in terms of mainstream. So, I would say experiment even more if you are a small brand. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, you so you much. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to be here and I'm sorry, I know we have extended it by uh, almost an hour maybe from the time that you were expecting to wrap this up. But thanks once again and if there are any questions, uh, uh, we can chat outside. Thank you. Thanks, Gitika. It's always a pleasure to have you here.